This story took place in the Caucasus, an area situated between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. In the year 1997, a middle-aged Georgian man named Zaharia traveled from the Georgian capital Tbilisi to the city named Shusha in the occupied Nagorno-Karabakh district with the purpose of visiting the mausoleum of an Azerbaijani poet Molla Panah Vagif. In the past, there was a writing on the mausoleum written with Cyrillic letters Vagif, but now there was no trace of it, even the door was not there. Zaharia entered the ruined mausoleum and stood there quietly, looking around. Then he spoke in Azerbaijani language with a Georgian accent. Ey Shair, Sherefli Shair, Eshki Mahabati Lutfi Hagigati Terenum Eden Nehmechar, Budunyadachi Shere Meidano Humusan, Shir Kimi Jasaret Leol Musan, Butarpach Ichi Uzil Bunan Gabach Birjunde Ham Senin. Hem de aziz oğlunun al kanını içmişti. Sen oğlunun ölümünü görmek istemirdin, yalvarırdın ki önce seni öldürsünler. Ah şair, bu dünya sene verdiği istirabları az bilip, sen ebediyete köçmemiş üreğine endirdiği son zerbesi, senden aldığı son gisası her şeyden korkunç olup. Sen bu izdirab dolu çasanı da içmişsen şair. Bu dünyada şehir koşanlar çoktur. Ama her şehir koşan şair olmaz. Bizim Kafkas'da şairler çok olup. Ama senin kimi şair az olup. Sen bu dünyada Rabbin lütfüyle çok sirre vagif olmuşsan. En uca sirre, Allah'a ve insana sevgi sirrine vagif olmuşsan. Milletinden, dininden, mövgeyinden asılı olmayarak, Allah'ın her bendesine, hürmetle, sevgiyle yanaşmışsan. Sevmişsen, sevilmişsen. Bugün senin öz halgın, işgal ucbatından seni ziyarete gelebilmir. Ama ben gürcü gelebilirim. Seni ehtiramla yad etmeyi özüme borç bilirim. Ey vagif, bu deyge senin qabrinin üstünde Allah'a dua etmek istiyorum. Senin soyundan gelmiş, senin kimi dahi şair, Semed Vurhu'nun yazdığı duanı yürekten okuyacağım. The Georgian man knelt inside the ruined mausoleum and recited the prayer poem. Khudaya insanın halı yamandır. Neler çektiğimiz sene eyandır. Menası var mıdır min tarigatin? Aç Aç kapısını sen hakikatin. Ne olur, bir yeni ışık ver bize, Bizim kör yaranmış gözlerimize, Belki de yakşını seçek yamandan, Ta ki cansız geçen bir güzerandan, Biz de ilham alak, sevinek barı, Işıklat bu dipsiz karanlıkları, Yazıqdır dünyanın eşrefi insan. Böyüksen, adilsen, keç günahından. Qoyma ki yerlerde sürünsün beşer. Dünyada kalmasın ne pislik, ne şer. Yaxşılıq insana bir sənət olsun. 
dünya baştan başa qoy cennet olsun. İlahi, bir cetir insanı yada, göz yaşı kalmasın qara dünyada, sen ki iradenle bizi yarattın, neçin kalbimizi vaxtsız kanattın, söyle bir, insanın ne diy günahı, aciz bendelere qıyma ilahi. Zveli Tbilisi, that is Old Tbilisi, the historical center of the city, has many narrow streets paved with sets that ascend to Narikala fortress on the hill. On one of the streets there is a mosque built of red brick. It is called Tbilisi Juma Mosque. It is a relatively small construction, just like St. Nicholas Church in Narikala. In this part of Old Tbilisi, one can hear both the sound of church bells and the sound of azan, Muslim call to prayer. Just a few days after Novruz, an Azerbaijani national holiday celebrated on March 21st, Zaharia was walking up the street towards Narikala. Right at the time when he was passing by the mosque, the door opened and a group of Azerbaijani young men walked out. Their speech was like a beautiful music to the Georgian man's ears. A part of his life had passed in Azerbaijan, in the capital, Baku. He kept slowly walking up. A few minutes later he reached the beginning of the long stairs which led to Narikala. He stopped and looked back only to find one of the young Azerbaijanis from the group approaching him. He introduced himself as Emin. Emin said that one of his friends in the group had recognized Zaharia as his father's acquaintance and told him he had visited Molla Penah Vagif's tomb in Shusha back in 1997. Emin said he was born in the Azerbaijani capital Baku, but his parents were from Shusha and were displaced during the occupation. Emin felt his homeland was Shusha, not Baku. He asked Zaharia to tell him about Shusha. Zaharia said he went there in 1997 for the 200th anniversary of Wagif's death. When Emin inquired why Zaharia learned Azerbaijani language and how he got to love Azerbaijani literature, Zaharia explained. Back in 1968, the Georgian literature newspaper published a Georgian translation of a poem by Wagif. I was a postgraduate student at that time. I read that translation and I liked it very much. So I became interested in Azerbaijani people's literature and began studying Azerbaijani language and later classic Eastern languages. I read Wagif's and other Azerbaijani poets' masterpieces in original and I got to love them. Mr. Zaharia, I am very glad to meet you. I couldn't even imagine meeting such a person here among Georgians and who is your favorite among our poets? Vagif? It's a hard question. I can say for sure that Vagif is one of my favorite among your poets. He loved the inhabitants of Tbilisi very much. Besides that, my favorite poem in Azerbaijan literature was written by Vagif. If it's not a secret, which poem is that, sir? The one I read in Georgian translation back in 1968. I know it by heart. I mean not the Georgian translation, but I know the original poem by heart. 
Would you like me to recite it? Reciting the whole poem would take a long time because it was a muhammas and consisted of 13 stanzas. Muhammas comes from the Arabic khamsa, five. It's a form of poetry where every stanza consists of five lines and the last line of each stanza ends with the same word. Emin said he would be happy to stay there and hear Zaharia's reciting the poem, so Zaharia recited it, clearly pronouncing every word. Men jahan mülkünde mütlek doğru halet görmedim. Her ne gördüm, eğri gördüm. Özge babet görmedim. After Zaharia had read the whole Muhammad till the end, they stood in silence for a while until Amin asked, Sir, do you understand each line of the poem? Yes, I do. I will be in Tbilisi for a few more days and I would like to meet with you once again. Is it possible? Sure. We can meet tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning in front of this mosque and then walk up to that wonderful fortress over there. It's called Narikala and it's a quiet place. Excellent. Agreed, Mr. Zaharia. See you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you in the morning. <laughs>